Hello, hello again, everyone. This is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Hey, you're viewing this video for a reason or listening to it anyway. You want to know 10 ways that you could save cash today. Now, some stuff seems like hmm, maybe you've heard it all before, but I believe that for newcomers or even just for anyone listening, it's always worth re-listening to some common sense things. For example, have you set any savings goal for the next year coming up? Whatever your goals may be, you need to know how great or small and to create that goal to aspire to. So you need to have something to look forward to in a concrete way. So create a savings goal. The next thing to do, I know you've heard it a million times, but it's totally worth bearing repeating, is to pay yourself first. Hey, hey, you have to treat yourself as an important entity, don't you? But what you need to do is you should take a certain amount of your monthly income and pay yourself first. And you could do this easily by having whatever X number amount, and hopefully you have examined your budget, to be uh, definitely transferred to a savings account. You could have that set up with your bank and do that very, very easily. So that's something worth considering. Next, you need to consider if you smoke, first of all, you shouldn't be smoking, it's a bad thing to do, or if you have other expensive, non-essential habits going on that they're just wallop bleeders, not to mention they're unhealthy. So examine your lifestyle. Is there something that you do on a daily basis? It doesn't have to be smoking either. It could be sitting down to that $2 bag of chips. Just saying, just saying, do you have to have it? Next, you can consider having a staycation this year. Yes, I said it, a staycation. Do you know how many people live in areas that they never really take full advantage of and never go on tours or museums or whatever? I know many New Yorkers that never went to the top of the Empire State Building or never visited the Statue of Liberty and things like that. And I say to myself, wow, you're right here. You don't do that. That is weird. Wherever you live, there has to be a point of interest that you may not have taken advantage of. So consider taking a staycation this upcoming year. Flipping the page over. Okay, uh, <laughs> this definitely bears worth repeating. Bring your lunch to wherever you are going. Uh, when you eat outside, why not enjoy your lunch al fresca? Enjoy the fresh air and just chomp on the salad or whatever you brought with you and Hey, enjoy yourself and also enjoy the fact that you didn't uh, put, let's say, seven to ten dollars on the table for lunch. Next, this is really, really important and very, very helpful. Cook and freeze meals in advance to have ready for tiring nights. I know I like that, especially after a long, hard day. This avoids the temptation to spend on takeout. And that's a realistic thing to avoid. Next. Shop for groceries less frequently. I mean, do you have to do it once a week? Maybe you can consider it every 10 days. You're saving on gas, you're saving on time, and you're saving your sanity too, not to mention the crowds. It does save money to do that. Less shopping trips means less gas spent, less time and effort as well. So plan your shopping wisely. Another tip uh, before I forget, when you do your shopping trip and write the list, write your stuff down in aisle order if you are familiar with the store. Definitely a time saver if not for anything else. Next, use your credit cards wisely. Treat them as the short term term loans that they are meant to be. A credit card is meant to be a short term loan, nothing more, nothing less. Use it wisely. Very important. Next, number nine, you need to work from home to reduce the cost of childcare and, of course, transportation. These are things to consider. If you can find ways to work from home, and today there's no excuse, there are plenty of options to work from home. And finally, cut down on your outside coffee drinking as well. I know you've heard that one 10 gazillion times. But guess what? It really is bearing worth repeating. If you do the math on how much a cup of coffee costs outside, even a small one, if you do it on an everyday basis, that's taking a chunk out of what could be savings. So consider your options. Do what works for you, but work within reason, and definitely keep your eye on the prize. And that is of your savings goal. And in the meantime, this has been Jan from York City, and my channel name is Jan from York City Saves Money. Thanks so much for listening. I really do appreciate your time. Hey, don't forget to consider passing on this video to someone who may need it. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day.